I can subtract decimals to the hundredths. Let's review and talk about a couple of things. We have hundredths and decimals. Let's talk about place value first because that's where hundredths would fall. Place value is the value that each digit has within a number. So for example, in this number, which is 672,168 and 52 hundredths. You have your ones, your tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. You have your decimal point here, and then to the right of that, you have your tenths and hundredths with a th there at the end to indicate the decimal. Wherever the number falls in the number indicates its place, indicates its value based upon its place value. So like six tens equals 60, but eight ones is only eight. Remember, decimals to the hundredths are a lot like money, like 99 cents, 85 cents, 75 cents. Those are all hundredths, because it takes 100 cents equal to dollar. The tenths can be, can, can be a little bit tricky, um, and they relate to hundredths as well. So like you have one tenth is written right here, 0 0.1 equals 10 hundredths. It's the same number, you just put a zero. If you look back to the addition video, you remember I said you can just add zeros to the end. So one tenth is the same as 10 hundredths, the exact same value. In fraction form, it looks like this, one-tenth, ten-hundredths. Think about it like this, one-tenth is like a dime, ten cents. It takes ten cents to make a dollar, or it takes a hundred pennies to make a dollar. Ten cents is worth ten pennies, so one dime, ten cents. To subtract decimals, there are three steps. The first one, line up the decimal point, put the larger number on top that'll help you find the difference. If you're putting the larger number on top, it's gonna help with your grouping. So remember, put the larger number on top, line up your decimal points. Start with the lowest place value, furthest to the right. You're always gonna go to lowest place value, which in this case is gonna be the hundredths. That's as low as we're going, the hundredths. Subtract. All right, so you might see your problems written vertically up and down or horizontally side to side. I'll tell you this, you're always going to want to take it if it's horizontal and write it vertically. Let me show you how to solve these problems subtracting decimals to the hundredths. 5 and 14 hundredths minus 1 and 72 hundredths. You just you line up your decimal places, you start to the right. 4 minus 2 is 2. 1 minus 7, I need to regroup here. So I'm regrouping. I have four ones now, and those four ones take one away and now I have 10 tenths plus the one is 11 tenths. 11 minus 7 is going to be 4. Br Oops. 11 minus 7 is going to be 4, not 7. Bring down your decimal point and 4 minus 1 is going to be 3. So my answer is 3 and 42 hundredths. And this one here I have written horizontally or side to side and I need to subtract that. So the first step is to line up my decimal points. I'll do that by Writing the bigger number on top, put my decimal point, and I'm ready to subtract. What I notice here again is I'm, we have the one tenth, four and one tenth minus three and seven hundredths. Well, I need more place values, so I put a zero here, and that's just because everything to the right of that one is a zero. Now I can subtract, but zero minus two I have to regroup. So I take my one tenth, I'm down to zero tenths. Take my zero hundredths, and now I have ten hundredths. Ten minus two is eight. Zero minus seven, I have to regroup again. So my four ones are going to become three ones. My one tenth is going to become ten tenths. Ten minus seven is three. Bring down my decimal point. Three minus three is zero. Generally, you don't have to have a zero there. I prefer to have it to indicate zero ones and thirty-eight hundredths. a little bit bigger numbers here. We have 8,212 and 3 hundredths minus 4,562 and 78 hundredths. First step, line up our decimal points. So now I subtract. 8,212 and 3 hundredths minus 4,562 4, and 78 hundredths. Copied it down right. 3 minus 8, can't do, need to regroup, can't regroup here, so we'll go, go 1, this becomes a 10, then it becomes a 9, now I have 13, 13 minus 8 is 5, 9 minus 7 is 2, bring down my decimal point, 1 minus 2, got to regroup again, 11 minus 2 is going to be 9, 0, Gotta regroup again. 
10 minus 6 is 4. Oh, I was not keeping this one. 11 minus 5 is 6. 7 minus 4 is 3. 3,649 and 25 hundredths would be my difference. This is about as hard as it's going to get with subtracting decimals in terms of the amount of regrouping, the size of the numbers, and the size of your difference. I can subtract decimals to the hundredths. Note, this only goes to the tenths, so you're going to have to extend it out. 5 and 1 tenth minus 3 and 29 hundredths. See if you can solve that one.